Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I hope you've all had a lovely week and have been enjoying a little bit more freedom now that we're coming out of lockdown. I hope wherever you are, you're kind of easing out of lockdown and maybe things are getting back to normal for you. In the UK, you can now officially eat outside which is absolutely freezing, but kind of worth it. So I hope you've been enjoying your time. I hope you've had a really good weekend and I hope you have a really good week ahead of you. So today I'm back with a massive, um, I might have done some damage, Zara and Mango haul. I've also got some bits from different brands that I thought I would throw in here because I feel like you guys might like them and I thought I would just tell you about them anyway, even though they're not Zara and Mango, but mainly we've got Zara and Mango. And also, today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa, which I am so excited about. Ana Luisa is a brand that I have loved for so long. I've worked with them for probably like a couple of years now. And I'd say that 80% of my jewellery collection is from there. I love their stuff. The quality is incredible. They have absolutely incredible quality jewellery without the massive price tag that usually comes with really good quality jewellery. Not only do they have amazing quality jewellery, they are also carbon neutral, which I just think is incredible and so important. And it's so amazing to see. They are currently having a Mother's Day sale, which is so exciting exciting because their prices are already so reasonable but with the sale it just makes it so cheap and it is time to stock up on some jewelry and what a lovely gift for your mom or your grandma or your auntie whoever it is that you're treating on mother's day i actually got my nan a matching ring to me this ring right here she absolutely loves it and she loves the fact that we have little matching rings she just she loves that she loves little sentimental bits and i always say that jewelry is just the most beautiful gift because especially in times like right now where you can go months without seeing someone having jewelry as a gift is just like an everyday reminder of that person i just think that is so beautiful i love that I think jewellery is just one of the most gorgeous gifts you can give. Not only is that person going to love it, but every single time they wear it, it's going to remind them of you, which is just a beautiful little, like, what a gorgeous gift. I love that, especially for Mother's Day. Their jewellery is also the type of gift that is not going to break the bank because their prices usually start at $39, and obviously with the sale, everything is a lot cheaper than that, which is just kind of incredible for the quality that you're getting. I can't believe you can get it for less than, like, $40. Kind of mind-blowing. There is literally something to everyone's taste on their website and I'm currently wearing entirely Ana Luisa jewellery right now. All of my earrings are from Ana Luisa in both sides. My little stackable moment is from Ana Luisa. I love stacking bracelets and they have such beautiful pieces that go so nicely together. Apart from my Apple Watch, obviously. I've got my two rings. This one matches my Nan's, which she loves. And then my necklaces are also Ana Luisa. So I'm literally stacked up in Ana Luisa. So if you see anything you're liking right now, the link will be in the description. And I'll do a little overlay of every item that I'm wearing. You've probably already seen some of them by the time I'm saying this, but yeah, you can have a little close up and I'll put the prices, the sale prices on there so you can see how inexpensive everything is. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Let's start with Zara, because I think I've got the most from Zara. So I made a promise to myself that I wasn't going to buy any more dresses about two weeks ago because I counted how many dresses I have and I had 56 at the time. I've probably got 60 now, maybe more than 60. And I feel like that's an excessive amount of dresses so I do need to stop buying them, quite frankly, because it's a problem. But I went into Zara and I saw this gorgeous dress and I just thought it was so pretty and so like easy to either dress down or dress up. I feel like you'd wear this with like some flat sandals and it's just a really casual summer dress or you could put some like heel sandals on with it and you've changed the entire vibe of it. So this was $49.99. I get everything in an extra small by the way just so you guys know for reference and I'm a size UK 6. So this is the dress. It's in this beautiful khaki green colour. I love the way it kind of ruffles over the bust area because I don't have the biggest boobs as you can see. Um, and this just kind of enhances it a little bit. It gives you something that you might not actually have. I love it. I feel like it can be really, really flattering. And I love the length of it. I love the color of it. And it's kind of like a linen-y fabric, which I just think is really cute. And I just really vibe with this dress. So I picked it up. I feel like there's a million and one ways to style this and so many different occasions that you could wear it to. I feel like you could dress this up to the point that it would be wedding appropriate. Like, I feel like it's a really, really versatile dress. Next up, I have this gorgeous dress. You guys have probably seen this all over Instagram. I definitely did. It is currently back in stock, so I will try and leave links to everything, all the codes to everything in the description. Um, I love this. It's got a little rope belt with some beads at the bottom, and this just gives me, like, Postano, Italy vibes. I love it. It's very much a bit of me. And again, I feel like you could dress this up or down, depending on what shoes you wear, what accessories you wear. I feel like it's a very, very versatile dress. And I love the skirt on it. It's got a very, like 
slicky out skirt which I think is like a little bit vintage vibes and you guys know me I love vintage dresses so I really like this I feel like it's a bit of me and it was £30 which I think is so reasonable next up on those blue and white themes I picked up this little silky skirt now this I got in a size extra small but it's quite big it doesn't fit me it's a little bit loose on me so I would say if you're gonna get this definitely size down there's probably two inches of like extra like this could have all gone and that would have been like the perfect fit for me it's um it's very loose around the waist uh, but I just thought it was really cute and I thought it's that pretty that I don't mind getting it tailored again I feel like you can dress this up or down I feel like you could really easily pop some heels on with this get like a really nice bag with it a nice like top maybe even a blazer something like that and make it very like dressy for like a posh dinner or something or you could wear it with like a bodysuit some sandals a little cardigan um, and just really dress it down it's got a little slit in the leg which is really really pretty and the length of it is absolutely perfect on me I'm five foot seven just so you guys know and that skirt was only £20 which I feel like was a really really reasonable price for the quality of it it feels like really silky it's really nice Next up, I saw this halter and I just really, really liked it. I thought it was like very summery. I could really like picture myself wearing it, but I feel like skinny jeans are like out. Do you know what I mean? Like when I go shopping, I see all the young people wearing like loose baggy jeans and I'm like the only one wearing skinny jeans and I'm like, <sighs> but I don't fully get the whole like loose jean thing yet. Um, I love the look of them, but I can just never find ones that are flattering on me. I have found some from Mango that I really like, um, but I'll talk to you about those later because I've got a slight dilemma with them. But anyway, I picked this top up. It was £20. It was sold out in an extra small, so I had to get it in a small, but I think it'll be fine because it like you tie it yourself. Um, it's like a completely open back, and then you just tie the string. So I feel like if you need to size up or down, you can do. Um, so I got this in a small, really, really like it. I love the colours of it. I feel like it's very, very simple. Um, and it's kind of like a neutral with just like a little bit of colour. And I just feel like, again, this could look really, really cute with some jeans and some sandals and just be like a cute summery moment. I feel like, again, you could dress this up really easily and put it on with some jeans and heels and just make it more of like a dinner outfit, maybe even with like a little like creamy ivory coloured blazer. That could be really cute. Next up, I got this really simple black jumper. It's kind of like a thin see-through knit, so I feel like with a cute bra or like a cute bralette underneath it, it could look really nice. And I just thought this was like a staple to wear with like leggings or jeans. And again, things like this, so easy to wear. You can put it on with a pair of leggings and some trainers and just use it as like a, I'm popping some post office outfit. Or you could pop this on with some jeans and some heels and you've got yourself smart casual dinner outfit love it with the right accessories some gold jewelry it could just look really really nice i love the look of like black jumpers with like gold accessories i think it looks so cute um so yeah i feel like this is just like a really like simple piece but such a staple and something that I was missing for some reason in my wardrobe and i know that lou will be stealing this as well so if i ever can't find it i know who's wearing it Again, with the dresses, I really need to stop. Uh, but I saw this and I just thought it was so beautiful. And it's got so many like on trend things about it. So I just wanted to pick it up because yes, it's on trend. But also I feel like this is a timeless piece at the same time. So first off, the sleeves. I love sleeves like this. I don't actually know what they're called. So if you know what they're called, please let me know. I just think they're beautiful. They've got such a vintage vibe to them. Oh my God, the way it just like drapes. Oh so pretty love it it's got a stretchy back with like the ruching on the back love that because for some reason when I buy a size extra small it always fits my waist but when it gets to like my rib cage area it gets a little bit tight I do if it's because my boobs are a little bit bigger than like an extra small usually would be um but yeah, I just struggle with that a little bit. So I love the fact that it's ruched on the back. It's got this gorgeous lace-up detail. So you could kind of loosen that up if you wanted to have a little bit more of a booby moment. Um, and then it's got a little cutout on the tummy area, which again, I really, really like. It's just got like a little like cutout here, um, which is really pretty and really in at the minute. I feel like cutouts are very much like a thing at the minute. And then it's just got like a slit up the leg. I love the colours of it. I think it's very summery and just like just classy like very classy very pretty and I feel like with the right bag the right shoes it could just look absolutely gorgeous so this dress you guys have already seen on my Instagram and you loved it this is very much a strawberries and cream dress it literally has strawberries on it and the color of the fabric underneath I can't even explain it to you it's like a creamy 
ivory shade it's beautiful i love it the quality of it is stunning it is so soft and it's just gorgeous i love the details on the bust it's so flattering it's just a really really beautiful dress and i'm just in love with it i just think it is so gorgeous i've cut the tags out of this because it was a little bit itchy on my back but i think it was about 30 pounds don't hold me to it but i think it was around that price i just love it i love the deep v on the back i think it is just absolutely stunning i love this dress so much it's definitely a bit of me oh my god imagine wearing this in like the french countryside having a picnic and like a glass of white wine open the borders <laughs> let me in oh my god how do you apply for dual citizenship because i'm almost there i'm almost at that point where i'm i'm gonna try to do that next up another dress <laughs> who was expecting it it is the dress that everyone i know everyone has it but i fucking love it it's so beautiful oh my god this is a bit of me it really is a bit of me Oh my god, absolutely stunning. This with a pair of wedges. Oh my god, beautiful. I love this dress. Lou loves this dress, which I was very shocked about. Very, very shocked because Lou is very much a grey, black, beige, maybe some green, maybe some dark reds type of woman. She doesn't really wear colour. If, if Lou came downstairs in this, I'd be like what <laughs> like have you fallen and hit your head but she absolutely loves this dress she loves it on me and she wants to try it on to see if it fits her oh my god it's beautiful i feel like this dress is just stunning i feel like it could suit so many different people i mean mine and lou's style is like completely different but she loves this so i feel like this is a winner for everyone i love the shape of it i love the sleeves on it it's very classy it's a very modest dress as well you don't really see a lot of cleavage you don't see any arms so you only have your legs out which i know that some people like that and to be honest i don't really like very revealing clothes i don't think you'll ever really see me in like a revealing outfit to be honest it's not really who i am this dress my god it is so beautiful it's so flattering so this was 26 pounds odd price but I just loved it. I really needed a like little black dress and this was just like absolutely perfect. I love this dress. It's silky and gorgeous. It fits so nicely around the bust and it's so flattering. Oh my God, it's got that stretchy uh, material on the back as well. So it's not like tight or anything and it just looks stunning. I feel like this is just an absolute gorgeous dress and such a piece to have in your wardrobe it's one of those pieces that you can just kind of keep forever because it's never going to go out of style it's always going to be age appropriate and i just i love it there are so many different ways to wear it again dress it up really easily dress it down oh my god little like black and gold moment love that oh my god it's stunning the quality of it is lovely it's quite a heavy dress like it's got some weight to it which i love because i feel like you can really tell the quality when it comes to things like that and oh my god i don't really know how zara prices are so cheap when the quality's really really nice i don't get that one i don't know speaking of black dresses i completely forgot to get my other black dress so i will just describe it to you and you'll be able to see it on the little overlay on the screen so it's like a black tailored dress i had to get it in a size small i think because i tried it on and it was squashing my bum and squashing my boobs the waist fit a lot nicer on the extra small it kind of like made me look more shapely because it wasn't just like skimming over my waist but i'm totally fine with that because it still looks stunning the extra small was just squashing my bum down and squashing my boobs down so if you have boobs i'm a i got measured the other day she told me to get a 34c and if i get a push-up bra then get 34d because the padding will make the c too small blah blah blah, blah. so that's how big my boobs are um and it just squashed them didn't look very flattering at all it was just like completely squashed down not a good look um so it's just beautiful though i got it in the small it's got a little bow on the back oh my god it's stunning we have a birthday dinner coming up very soon in like two months and i think that's what i'm gonna wear because it's just like oh my god so gorgeous next up i got this cardigan i don't know how much this was i'm not sure but i just saw it loved it thought it was going to be like such a staple in my wardrobe and could just go with so many different tops and dresses so this is it it's kind of like an off the i'll put it on to show you it's kind of like the type of cardigan where it doesn't really like cover much apart from your arms but i feel like that can look really nice and you can also wear it like off the shoulders like this which i think looks really like classy and chic it's a really nice quality it's like a really thick knit so it's just perfect for those days where it's a little bit chillier but you still want to wear a dress you know what i mean you've got a little strappy dress but it's a bit cold 
pop this on it's literally perfect i love the color of it too next up i will show you the one thing that i have from new look because i absolutely love and adore it so it is this gorgeous thick knitted cardigan it's got like these balloon sleeves which is just stunning i took my little sister shopping and she wanted to go new look for some bits and i saw this and i was like oh that's really nice so i tried it on and she was like is that yours and i was like no i was just trying it on and i was like oh my god i've got to get it because it was just one of those pieces that looked like I already owned it like you know what I mean you know when you put something on it's like yeah this is me like I can already see it in my wardrobe it was that type of piece and I just love it the quality of it is really nice it's really warm and snuggly and I just I love this cardigan now on to mango so I feel like mango can be a little bit hit and miss for me I feel like and other stories is like that as well sometimes I go in there and I see loads of stuff that I love and then it just doesn't work out and I kind of did that with mango the other day I picked up probably 15 pieces and I was in the changing room and I only left with these so a lot of it was a miss for me but I gave it a go so the first thing I saw were these shoes now I'm currently trying to stray away would that be how to put it from non-branded shoes because i'm at the point in my life where i want to start investing in clothes and personally investing in like a cardigan or a jumper isn't really for me but investing in shoes and bags is definitely where i'm at um so i'm kind of trying to stray away from non-designer shoes that's just what I'm, I'm choosing to do but I saw these and I've been looking for a pair of sandals and I just loved the look of these I've been really struggling to find any sandals that I liked I love the squared off toe it's very like 90s and 2000s I love the little crisscross detail on the back and I just thought the shade of gold was perfect it matches my jewelry <laughs> does anyone else do that like if I buy a bag or I buy a pair of shoes the shade of gold has to match the shade of gold jewelry that I wear otherwise I just won't buy them but I think these were about 50 pounds which I think is quite reasonable they are very very padded like so soft and I just love them I love the details on them I think they're very very simple I love the wooden heels I feel like the like squared off heel is like very in and yeah I just really really like them so I grabbed them and they were only 50 pounds so I feel like they'll last a long time as well the quality seems really really nice next i saw this little jumper which i just think is so cute so it's just like a little like i don't even know how you describe the knit of it it's kind of like it looks a bit like rusticky i don't know if that would make sense to anyone but it's kind of like a pearly cream color i love the color of it i think it's really beautiful again it's kind of like one of those more see-through knits so i feel like a really nice bralette like a lacy bralette could look really nice underneath it it was only 20 pounds i buy everything in an extra small as well from mango just for size reference um, and I just love these. I think, I just love this jumper. I think it's really cute. I think tucked into some jeans, it could look really nice. And I just needed some more casual bits because as you've just seen, I have a lot of dresses, but I don't have anything like, say we were like popping to Ikea. I don't really have anything to wear <laughs> apart from like a dress and heels, which probably isn't ideal to be walking around at Ikea in a dress and heels. So yeah, I need some more casual bits in my wardrobe. This shirt I absolutely love. I'd actually bought a shirt from Zara, pretty much identical to this, but I tried this one on in the Mango Changing Rooms and I preferred this one a lot more. So this was £35.99, which I think is slightly expensive for a shirt, but it is 100% linen, um, so that's nice. And the quality of this was just a lot nicer than the Zara one, and I think the Zara one was about £20. So for the £15 price, £16 price difference, I'm not really going to moan. I really like it. It just fits really nicely. It just kind of drapes down really nice. I love the pocket on it. Um, it's just one of those pieces that I feel like you have to have in your wardrobe, but for some reason I just didn't. I could picture so many outfits with this, just with like leggings or jeans. I feel like it's going to be a staple. I feel like I'm going to wear it a lot. So yeah, really like this one. So as I told you guys earlier, I'm really struggling with like the mom jean, the loose jean thing. I've tried on probably 50 pairs of jeans and I've kept one so far. And to be honest, I don't really wear them because they're a bit short on the leg. Something else I'm struggling with is my height. So I'm five foot seven and they all seem to be like the mom jean cropped, but I feel like they're cropped for like a five foot five person, not a five foot seven person. So they end up being like mid calf on me, which just, it's just jack ups basically. It's not cropped. At that point, I'm wearing like three quarter length jeans, which isn't a look and hopefully will never be a look. But I went into Mango, I saw these and I thought they looked a little bit more tapered and skinny on the leg. Now I'm trying to go for like a straight leg. The style that I really like is the um, 
Levi Wedgie Fit Straight, but they are sold out everywhere. You cannot get a hold of them apart from on Revolve, and I don't really get their sizing. Don't get it don't get it so I've just steered away from that so I picked these up I tried them on in a size 6 which is a 34 they're called the mom comfort they do say that they are an ankle length which is nice love that um, and they do seem to be like more of a crop on me but it's fine I can deal with that I can I can deal with that one um, I just can't deal with the three quarter length jeans so I tried these on the six perfect around the waist perfect on like the legs the legs just looked like great the exact amount of like skinny but mom at the same time just kind of like that slimmer fit jean but on my bum they were just squashing it down a little bit you know like underneath like my actual bum looked really nice it was like very much like that underneath which is what i think everyone wants in a pair of jeans for it to look very like underneath love that great but from the side i can see that it was kind of just pushing it down a little bit which was not only making my bum look flatter it was kind of making it look a little bit not saggy but a bit lower because obviously it squashed it in so it's gone down so anyway long story short unnecessary ramble there but i'm trying to help you out sizing if you think you're like a similar build to me or you know you can use this for lots of different things um i sized up i haven't tried them on in the eight um so I'm worried they're going to be a little bit looser around the leg. I mean, of course they are because it's a size up, but hopefully they look just as nice as the six did because if they don't, I think I will just take them back and get the six because I can deal with my bum being a little bit squashed because everything else is perfect. But I got them in this light denim, which is very much like a vintage looking denim. Really like it. Love the colour of the denim. Love the details on the back. I feel like that can be quite flattering. And the pockets are quite high up as well, which is always flattering on the bum. And then I got like a more traditional blue as well. And this is the Mom Comfort. This says that it like, again, is an ankle jean. It's not cropped or anything like that. Um, and this is just more of a traditional colour. Same details on the back. So cross your fingers for me and let me know in the comments if you like these and if they suit me because I'm just really struggling with the whole like Mom jean thing. Uh, but I feel like I might have found something that potentially can work. Next up, I got myself a new scarf. So, you may have seen that I already had a Burberry scarf. Um, someone, we're not gonna name names, put it in the washing machine. It's made out of cashmere. So you can imagine how that one went. It's now Chuck's scarf, because it came to about here on me. So it looks normal on him. But I had to get myself a new Burberry scarf, which was painful, but I do love it. And I love the colors of this a little bit more because it's a little bit more like toned down. And I just needed a new scarf because like, I've been wearing loose and I just love a Burberry scarf. I feel like they were kind of taken over by the more chavier people, but I feel like we're breaking out of that a little bit. I feel like it's classic. It's just a nice brown scarf, isn't it? Love the details on it. Goes with anything. And it's one of those scarves that's like, when you just drape it down on your coat, it looks really nice. So yeah, grab this, I think it's really pretty. And I've seen a Fendi scarf that I like as well. It's just got like the Fs on it. Really, really pretty, really, really reasonable price. So I might grab that as well because I feel like you never have too many scarves when you live in England, quite frankly. Next, I got this bag. I've shown you guys this on my Instagram. Oh my God, I love it. I love this bag so much. I saw this in quite a few places i saw it on british vogue and i was just like this bag is gonna blow up like it oh is there an earring oh, i've just found an earring in there <laughs> um yeah i was just like this bag's gonna blow up like i can see it happening already um so i grabbed it straight away very was having a sale i don't know if they still are but i got it for like a really good price like a really good price i think i got like 150 pound off of it or something like that I just love this bag. I think it's beautiful. The quality of it is lovely. I love the colour of the gold. Really, really pretty. I love the strap. I love that it's like a bulkier strap. I also love the fact that you can take this off. It kind of has it like an underarm moment. Kind of cute. I really like that. I just love this bag. The strap is adjustable. It's kind of got like a belt buckle on it. Very interesting. I love the little C on it. Chuck said to me like, oh, that looks like Gucci. And I was like, no, it's not Gucci, it's Coach. Um, and I feel like Coach kind of went out the window for a little bit, but I feel like they're really making a comeback. So if you haven't got this bag yet and you're looking for a design, would you class Coach as designer? The price is around the same as Jack Muse. I never have to say that. Jack Muse? you guys know what i'm on about um so i say it's designer i'd say it's in the designer league 
um, but maybe like entry level designer. If you're looking for a bag or you're looking to start a designer collection, this is what I would say to go for. They've got so many different colours and so many different like colour waves of it. It's beautiful. It's got a little pouch in the back which is so handy for just like if you're shopping you can just like stick your phone in there because um, I use Apple Pay all the time so it's nice to just have my phone right there and then in here there is another little pouch right in the front then there's a front section a zipper section a back section and then another pouch in here so it's very like it's just great for storage basically it's got so much going on love the zip pouch for like makeup and stuff like that it fits everything in i've got like my purse in here and masks sunglasses and tampons some receipts everything fits in there as well as my phone and car keys and everything so i think it's just a really beautiful bag it goes with a lot and it's a really good price tag i think it's under 500 pound at the minute and i do feel like they're going to put their prices up so if you like the look of it which i very much do i'd grab yourself one because it's a gorgeous bag i might get lou on in like a brown like this because i feel like she'd use it a lot um so yeah love this now lastly we're on the home stretch everyone i know this has probably been a really long video but i grabbed myself some new shoes as i said i'm kind of getting more into designer shoes and bags um and i'm just at the point in my life where i'm ready to start spending a little bit more money in that area so i've been building my collection up so the first pair of shoes i got i got these a while ago but i don't know if i ever showed them to you so they are these little june slingbacks I love these shoes so much. They're like my pride and joy. I was so happy when I got them. They're very similar to the Chanel's. You've probably seen them. They've got a block heel, little sling back, and a black toe. Love it. I think they're so cute. They go with just everything. Like, oh my god, literally everything. They go with white jeans, blue jeans, black jeans. Love them. I think they're gorgeous. And they're so pretty, so classy, very comfortable, and just so easy to wear. And they don't slide off your feet as well because of the little ankle strap at the back. Next up, I got myself a pair of black Jimmy shoes. I love these. They're so pretty. I just needed like a classic black shoe. And these are the ones that I went for. I do like Jimmy shoes because they're quite comfortable compared to a lot of other shoes. Um, and I think they're just like a really like pretty looking shoe. Like when they're on your foot, it just kind of looks like a piece of art. Absolutely gorgeous. Love these shoes. Um, and again, they go with dresses and jeans. So I don't have any complaints. I love them. I love them. I do. Then I got these, again Jimmy Choo's, but vintage Jimmy Choo's. This is the Melody style of Jimmy Choo. They are vintage shoes. They are gold with like little like flecks of like glitter on the front. <laughs> oh my god. They look like butterflies on your feet. I think they're stunning. They've got a little zipper at the back. They're very easy to walk in because the heel isn't too high. And obviously because of the thicker ankle strap, it just makes it a lot easier to walk in. I love these. I literally love these. I think they're gorgeous. I just, I'm really, what can I say? I love them. And I love the fact that they're vintage as well. They're just so pretty. Love these shoes. I really do. And then lastly, I got myself a pair of the Castana wedges. I got myself like a dupe of these last year because I tried to buy them and they were just out of stock everywhere. I couldn't find them, but they're just gorgeous. They're really, really nice quality. It's such a pretty shoe. I feel like this is the type of shoe that will just never go out of style. Like wedges are always in. Um, they're only about £100, which I think is really good for like a designer shoe. Um, and I just... I love them. I think they're lovely. They've got so many different colours of these as well if like the creamy nude isn't your vibe. They have black, pink, um, orange. They've got so many different colours. I love them. They're so easy to walk in. I would say though, size down, these are a 36 and they fit me perfectly, which I think is a UK 3. Um, so yeah, size down in them if you are getting them because I'm usually a 4 slash 4.5 four and, and these are like the perfect fit as a 3. Love them, think they're so pretty, and that's the last piece I have to show you guys. So that is everything I have to show you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul, and I hope you found some pieces to kind of spice up your summer wardrobe. I know I have, and I'm going to put myself on a shopping ban for the whole of May, I think. I'm currently filming this on the 29th of April, so I might have to go shopping tomorrow, um, just to like get out of my system for the month. I think I need to stop for a month, because I've really done some damage this month i've really really gone for it gone hard on the shopping this month so i'm gonna rein it in a little bit for a month i'm on a shopping ban for a month it's fine i can cope 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Anne Louisa for working with me on this video. Oh my God, I love your stuff so much. Guys, don't forget to check out their pieces. They are so beautiful. Not only for Mother's Day, they're great for birthdays any special occasion. Honestly guys, don't forget to check out Anne Louisa. I absolutely love their stuff so much. It is so beautiful and such good quality. And obviously with the Mother's Day sale right now, what a great time to make a purchase. You get so much money off and their prices are already a bit you get so much money off and their prices are already incredible. So definitely go check it out. It's a gorgeous gift to give your mum or anyone special in your life. If you want to treat anyone, now's the time to make a purchase because obviously the sale. Um, oh my god, their pieces are just beautiful. I wear them every single day and they don't tarnish. I swear to you, you'll buy one piece and then you'll just be hooked because I wear mine in the shower every day and they just look brand new. They still look brand new. You wouldn't even tell the difference. This stuff holds up really, really well. So definitely check them out. It's a beautiful gift and it's just such a sentimental gift and if you don't have a mom to buy for or anyone else to buy for then just treat yourself just treat yourself that's what i've been doing um so yeah don't forget to use a link in my description to go check it out and i will see you guys next sunday with a new video bye